Hello and welcome to my video review of Iron Factory's Hex Wrench, or in other words, IDW Wheeljack. And because this is Iron Factory, and it's also a bit like DX9, and some other companies such as Unique Toys, which are basically the exact same too, he is Legends scale. So if I bring in a deluxe class, top spin, as you can see, they are completely dwarfed. They are the smallest scale you can have in mainline figures that aren't like in poly bags and other promotional stuff, which has happened in the past, but it is very, very small. There we go. Very, very small. And as I said before, it is based off of IDW um, Wheeljack. And if you have um, Transformers Forge to Fight, you'll recognise the design because it's also the one used in that game. Now, small disclaimer for this video. I'm not going to be transforming it, and I'm not going to be showing you the vehicle mode, obviously. But I will be showing you all the accessories. Um... But the reason for that is because the last time, or my last figure of this, snapped cleanly in half because it on, is on such a tiny um, mushroom peg, but it has an ab crunch and a waist swivel. Yeah, it, it, didn't, it didn't last even a day. I was transforming it to put it on my shelf. It snapped in half. Luckily, the good people over at Kapow Toys managed to get me a second one uh, after I had returned the first one. And yeah, you can still get it on there right now. So I will post the link into the description. Uh, so then you can go over to Kapow Toys and get this figure. It is a very good figure. It looks amazing. The paint is really, really nice. There's even paint and detail on the inside of the legs, which isn't obviously found in many um, many mainline. There is a bit of hollowness back here, but that's understandable due to the transformation. But it is so good. And the transformation itself is amazing. Just if the waist wasn't so fragile, I would do it. But I'm actually kind of scared of doing it because I can't ask them for a second time to get me another one. So I'm just having to be extra careful and just not transform it. So I'll also be very uh, delicate when I'm posing him as well. So then you can see. There we go. That's better. That's better. Right. So as for detail I have found that I need to lie him down because the light box is being a pain and come at it from pretty close up and from above so if I can get him there we go no focus there we go so this is one of the two heads included so this has the blue on the antennas on the side of his head which indicates that he's speaking but I mainly have it on because it looks pretty nice and the camera is actually good that's good. Got some focus. Got some red painted rims. You got really, really good backpack management and kibble management. And I love that his um what are they? Are they wings? I, mean, I would class them as like wings as in wings on a car, that sort of wing. Except it's actually there. I don't know. But these spiky bits uh do come out and they're not in vehicle mode obviously I love how they get tucked away you basically just spin inside of there and then it still all works and closes up just really really clever I love it there is a bit of hollowness I think on the inside of the thighs yeah, focus ah there's some painted detail on the inside of the arms but that's because um, that becomes the outside of the vehicle it all kind of twists around it's pretty cool a very nice painted uh, windscreen. I just wish that green kept on going around instead of it turning into white up here and there. But it is very, very good. The eyes are beautiful. There's no paint mishaps like on um, uh, Topspin. 
well, my copy of Top Spin, not every copy. Some pretty nice detail on the foot, obviously that will become the front of the vehicle. But overall, it is very, very nice. And I love that they even have Iron Factory on the rear spoiler, just like, promotion, wherever we can. It is a race car, so why not? So, if I open the included bag, I might add, of all the accessories, and if I line them out, one by one, oh, here we go, brand new head, shoulder cannon gun thing, small little gun, obviously you can't see this right now, Splayed hand, splayed hand. So this is all the accessories that he comes with. So as you can see, he has some splayed hands, which I will put on the figure in a second. Two of, obviously, one for each hand. Um, a small little blaster, which looks pretty cool. It is also painted in silver metallic, but so far it hasn't actually chipped any of the paint off. I can see that. I dropped it. Where'd it go? Nope, no paint chipping, that is very good. Have some open fist hands, because at the moment he has closed fist hands. The other head, which is him not talking, as you can see by the fact that his antenna are grey. And his shoulder mounted cannon. So if I put the shoulder mounted cannon on first. There we go. Plug it into his back, there is a very very small port that you just plug it into. There we go. And now he has his shoulder cannon, which does sit pretty far back, but that's that's fine by me. I mean you can play with it. It is a toy. Oh that's squeaky. Also my previous copy was very squeaky, so I think they're all gonna be squeaky. So it's just something you have to make do. I will Tear off this hand, put it down, replace it with splayed hand. Yes, cat. Oh no, don't try to come in. Oh god, we may be joined by a cat in a second. You never know. And put on the other hand. I'm not going to swap over the head because it is a faff. Just know that it is the non talking head that you get out of the box. But it is a bit of a faff to um, actually attach it. Plug the gun in, there we go. Now he can be all heroic like and display his hand like uh, Optimus Prime does. Because why not? That is a very bad pose. Hmm. That's a bit better. So he's now posing for the camera. Awesome. Amazing. Oh. Get... Don't drop any of the parts. Hey, I didn't drop any of the parts. Cool. So now, I will get into posability. So first of all, that's actually quite squeaky, but the gun barrel can um, fold over itself because uh, that's how it stores in vehicle mode. It plugs onto the underneath and also it just compacts it for when you put it into the bag. Take that off. There is very squeaky joint there and a ball joint there. So far no paint has been chipped off of the painted ball joint. Although actually it's not, it's not too tight and it's not too loose. It's just right and I just managed to pop it off. Stupid child. Anyway head. Oh, this is going to be fun. The camera won't focus. Okay. Head. Mm. Please focus. Yep. Head can go up that far. Focus. Head can go down that far. Got pretty good tilt, which does actually play into the character wheel jack very well. And there is a 360 degree at the head, but I'm going to struggle to show that off. Right, 
put my camera there. There we go, that's easier. Arm can do a full 360. You just need to get the wings out of the way, but it can. It can go out to there. But then there's a hinge that allows it to go out to there. Plug the hand in properly. Bicep rotation. Elbow bend to there. That is a very good elbow bend. And because the fist or the fists are interchangeable, it is just simply a peg and a socket. So you have some rotation at the fist. There is rotation at the waist. There is an ab crunch, but a very weak one. But I'm going to be careful and I'm not going to show that off. Although, there we go. Bring the arms out of the way. There we go. Oh, there we go. Can do almost the full. No, that is the full splits. He can kick. Oh, that's tight. Back that far. Mm, over 90 degrees up. Fire rotation. A knee bend of, again, over 90 degrees. That is a fake ankle pivot, but it does still work and it does still create the effect. And his heel spur can go up for transformation and come down for robot mode. And it can come really down if you're a pleb. Don't be a pleb. Like me. Okay, so as I said, I'm not going to show you the transformation, so that will be it. Um, it is a very good figure, and I do highly recommend picking it up, especially from Kapow Toys. But just be very careful with the waist. The paint is clean, everything is good, the ball joints are perfect, all the other joints are good. It's amazing. Also, if you are going to want to transform him, I would highly recommend loosening up these two screws as you have to collapse the legs in, and that can be a bit of a pain, so by loosening those two screws up, it helps. Thank you, Bobby Skullface. That was a very useful tip. Was it him? I think it was him. Was it somebody else? I can't remember. But you should also check him out, he's pretty good, if you haven't already. So this has been my review. Hope you enjoyed.